Hello, it's Chris from MyStampLady.com. I'm here with the Sure Do Love You stamp set, which includes this banner here. And I'm going to show you a kind of a quick tip about how to use that banner, even though it has the stamping right in the middle of it. Sometimes you want to cover that up and just use it without that sentiment. So the coordinating box framelits, I'm also using the Heart Happiness stamp set and the Sweet and Sassy Heart framelits. You can find the Sweet and Sassy Framelits in the annual catalog and the rest of these new products are in the Occasions mini catalog. So I have my banner and the Just For You and those are from the Sure Do Love You and you can tell because they're red rubber stamps. And then my hearts from the Heart Happiness set are in photopolymer. And I will start out by stamping my hearts on one piece of paper. The small heart will be stamped in Rich Rasselberry and then in Blushing Bride, I have the polka dot heart. And I'm going to just stamp those on the same piece of paper. And there are framelits from that Sweet and Sassy heart framelit set that coordinate with those two hearts. And with Sweet Sugar Plum, I'm stamping the background stamp or that banner stamp. And there is a die from the Lots to Love box framelits that coordinates with that banner. The last piece I'm going to stamp is the Just For You in Real Red onto this small strip. I have on my website, mystamplady.com, under this post, all of the sizes of the pieces I'm using here, including the finished card you'll see at the end. So stay, stay tuned, because you're gonna see how I use all of these pieces. Okay, so I found the coordinating dies for the banner and then for the hearts. And I am just kind of showing you how they line up here, but I do use my magnetic platform with my Big Shot and run it through and cut out each of these pieces with the Big Shot. And the point of this video is just to show you how to put this small piece together and how to cover up those words and one way to do it. So I have all those pieces. Now I have my snail adhesive, putting down some adhesive over the center of that banner. And my blushing bride heart goes down first. And then right next to that, and just kind of doing a little layering, I have the rich razzleberry heart. You of course could use just one larger heart and cover up the entire sentiment underneath. But I've decided to put down the two hearts to kind of make an interest piece with that. Okay, with my Just For You, I'm flagging the end or notching the end to make it a flag. And I snipped up the center and then I snip up from each side to the top of that center snip. And that's a quick and easy way to get a banner or a flag or a notched end, whatever you want to call that. Okay, so I'm going to just set that down over my hearts. And I have made this fun little interest piece for a card. I was really happy with how it turned out and then I paired it with the Party Panda celebration set and just took that piece and added the panda and the big red heart in the background and then a background stamp on the very far background. So go to mystamplady.com to find all of the supplies I used and the sizes of the cardstock I used. And if you have any questions about making your own pieces of interest, be sure to contact me, chris at mystamplady.com. Thanks for watching.